Another famous example for a deadlock situation is a consumer producer example. Consumer and producer both are threads. You have a stock where consumer and the producer makes use of the same stock object. Stock has quantity on hand and reorder level. Producer keeps producing, wants to produce some product whereas consumer wants to consume the product. Now these methods are available in the stock class. Producer keeps consume, uh, producing, consumer keeps consuming the product whether if it is there or not. So you need to put certain checks for these particular accesses. And both of them are working on the same stock object, same quantity on hand. So you need to synchronize as well. Now let's say a consumer has called a synchronized get quantity on uh, get product where quantity on hand is being used. So you lock the stock object. Similarly, producer needs to call a synchronized method which is a set product. Now if the consumer has come into the get product by placing a lock on the stock object and he finds out that he does not have enough quantity on hand to consume, he needs to wait till the producer produces then only he can consume. But the producer cannot produce because there is already a lock on an object. Now the consumer keeps waiting for the producer to produce but the producer cannot produce because there is a lock again a deadlock situation. Now let's see how to solve this. Let's say we have class stock with reorder level and quantity on hand. Let's say we have synchronized void get quantity on hand and set quantity on hand. This is the stock class. Let us assume that we have class producer which extends thread and producer has an access to the stock object. and overrides the public void run method and using this stock object in the run method he calls set quantity on hand where while a consumer extends thread, it is also a thread class which also has a stock object, the same stock object shared by both producer and consumer Now let us assume the consumer thread got the CPU time and he called the get quantity on hand. Now on the stock object the lock has been placed by the consumer thread. Now once I am in here I need to check before I let us say here we specify how much we want to consume. Once we check the quantity required is greater than quantity on hand, we need, we cannot consume it. We have to wait till the producer produces. So I need to release the lock so that the producer can get the lock and produce 
and then tell me that he has produced so I can acqu acquire the quantity on hand. How do I do this? In order to release the lock so that any other thread can access the lock in such deadlock situations, we invoke the weight method. This is where the weight method comes into 